Hey guys, back with another beginning Japanese lesson. Today, lesson 11, asking when. Um, I just want you to remember the following words from lesson 6. Asa, hiru, yoru, morning, noon, and night. Today's key sentence is, Jugyo wa itsu desu ka? Mokuyoubi desu. Okay. And we have a lot of vocabulary today. This is just the first page. So I'm going to go down, uh, starting with our days of the week, Sunday through Saturday. Nichiyoubi, getsuyoubi, kayoubi, suyoubi, mokuyoubi, kinyoubi, doyoubi. All right. And you'll notice, um, if you've studied kanji at all, you'll notice that the days of the week are based on certain elements or like the sun, the moon, fire, water, uh, wood or tree, metal, and earth. And then we have the word for when, itsu. Itsu, itsu. Every, we're gonna learn about this a little later, mai, mai. The word for week is shu, shu. And day is he or nichi. This kanji has a few readings, actually. Um, you'll learn in this lesson which ones to use at certain uh, times. Our next page of vocabulary has to do with kind of days, uh, and at the end we have some occupations. Uh, yesterday is kino, kino. The day before yesterday, ototoi, ototoi. Tomorrow is ashita, ashita. Now this uh, kanji grouping right here, actually a few of these words can have different pronunciations. Um, the ones that I'm giving you right now are the ones that the textbook that I'm kind of loosely basing my order off of, the, these readings are the ones that it presents, and these are kind of the most commonly spoken readings. So this is ashita, tomorrow. The day after tomorrow, asatte, asatte. Notice Japanese has actually actual words for these, whereas in English we have to say the day before or the day after. Really interesting. Last week is senshu, senshu. This week, konshu. And next week, raishu. Now you'll notice, um, if in a previous lesson, I taught you the word for now, which is ima, ima. And here's the kanji, or the character for ima, and the character for shu, literally meaning now week, or this week. That's how um, you can remember some of these characters is by looking, or some of these words is by looking at their characters, looking at their kanji. Weekend is shumatsu, shumatsu. Uh, weekdays, heijitsu, heijitsu. Today is kyo, kyo. Okay. And then uh, class, like a course or a class that you have at school is jugyo, jugyo. And then work or your job is shigoto, shigoto. Okay. Um, before we get into our grammar, I just want to kind of show you what a typical Japanese calendar looks like. You're going to be seeing a lot of calendars in this lesson. So you'll see that the days of the week are ordered from Sunday to Saturday. Nichi, getsu, ka, sui, moku, kin, do, yobi. So you'll notice going back to our uh, vocabulary words for the days of the week that calendars use the first character of each day of the week. All right, here they are here presented at the top. And for whatever reason, um, most calendars will have days on Sunday the numbers are red, and then the days on Saturday, the numbers will be blue. I don't know why, that's just how they do. <laughs> so, let's pretend that the 18th is kyo. We're defining uh, this day as kyo, or today, as you should have learned. What is the word for yesterday, the 17th? Well, if you remember from our vocabulary, kino, kino. The day for tomorrow, or the word for tomorrow is ashita, ashita. The day before yesterday, do you remember? Ototoi, ototoi. Do you remember the day uh, after tomorrow? The word for that is asatte, asatte. Okay. And then the current week, this week, do you remember? Is konshu, konshu. Last week is Senshu. Mm -hmm. And then next week would be Raishu. Raishu. Right. What about uh, Sunday and Saturday? Those are weekends, which you can call in Japanese. Shumatsu. 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 And then 
the non shumatsu days, so Monday through Friday, would be the weekdays or heijitsu, heijitsu, right? So this is um, really words that are important for your calendar, looking at a calendar in Japanese. Um, this chart is important if you're using the worksheets that go along with this lesson because you will be asked in that worksheet to basically fill out this entire chart from memory. Okay. Let's get into the grammar. Asking when using itsu. So you can use itsu to ask when like this. E wa itsu desu ka? E wa itsu desu ka? When is a? It can be an event, can be a holiday, something like that. For example, jugyo wa itsu desu ka? When is class? And an answer could be heijitsu desu. Weekdays. Heijitsu desu. <laughs> um, now you might be wondering, you know, uh, when I hear when is class in English, I think of time. Well, in Japanese, if you're asking for time, you would ask nanji, nanji desu ka? Right? We learned that in a previous lesson, the time lesson. Go back and review that if you want. Itsu is more asking for like the day of the week, day of the month, something like that. Not really time. Activity one, answer each question based on John's weekly schedule. Here's John to the right. Answer multiple days by listing only the first character of each day of the week with the final day written out in full. So I have an example here of that. Um, if you want to say Sunday, Monday, and Wednesday, you can list it like this. Nichi getsu suyobi desu. And you will have to do that for this lesson, I believe, yeah. Uh, try and pause the video, try and answering it yourself. I'm going to give you the answer right now. Number one, jugyo wa itsu desu ka? Jugyo wa. Well, when you look at the calendar, we see here's jugyo, 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 jugyo. So Monday through Friday, it looks like. So we can say, getsu ka sui moku kin yobi desu. Or you'll notice that these are just the weekdays. So you can say, heijitsu desu, heijitsu desu, which I think is what I wrote as well in the answers on the next slide. Number two, shigoto wa itsu desu ka? Shigoto wa itsu desu ka? Well, looking over here, it's on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and Saturday. So we could say, Getsu sui kin doyobi desu. Doyobi desu. Sanban, number three. Michiobi wa shigoto desu ka? Michiobi wa shigoto desu ka? Um, you might be confused. Uh, it looks like maybe this is saying, is Sunday work? But in, in natural English, you could say, is there work on Sunday? So, uh, wa shigoto desu ka? Well, there's nothing in his schedule for Sunday. He's free as a bird. So we could say, Ie, eh, wa shigoto ja arimasen. Dewa arimasen. It's also fine. Yonba, number four. Mokuyobi wa jugyo desu ka? We look at mokuyobi. Yes. And in fact, it's only jugyo, only classes. So we can say, Hai, mokuyobi wa jugyo desu. And here are the answers for all of that. Moving on, we can use no, the possessive particle no, to indicate specific times of the week. For example, konshu no kinyobi, konshu no kinyobi, Friday of this week. You can think of it, I think of it uh, whenever I have the no as a possessive, I think of it like this week's Friday, this week's Friday, or Friday of this week. And then the next example, Senshu no suyobi deshita. This is a full sentence because we have the, the predicate deshita and a period. It was Wednesday last week. It was Wednesday last week. Okay? Senshu no suyobi deshita. Activity two, this is kind of a long activity. Use the calendar below to answer when each movie will be shown. Note that the day in light green is kyo. So this day right here in light green is kyo, is what they're telling us. And then we have some very popular movie titles. I had to look up a bunch of these because I didn't know what their Japanese was. Um, but you should know all of these if, you know, you grew up in America watching movies as a child. These are movies of my childhood. Uh, anyways, try it. Pause the video. Try it on your own. I'm going to answer it right now. Number one. Mononoke hime wa itsu desu ka? Mononoke hime is, in English, the English title is Princess Mononoke. Princess Mononoke. This is a Studio Ghibli film. 
um, the same people who made Totoro and Panyo and uh, Spirited Away and all those. Mononoke Hime wa itsu desu ka? Well, if we look at the calendar, we can see that actually Mononoke Hime is on today. So we could say Kyo desu. Kyo desu. It's today. Number two, Sento Chihiro no Kamikakushi wa itsu desu ka? This in English is called uh, Spirited Away. Spirited Away. Uh, and on the calendar, that is right here, the 22nd, which is a Sunday, and it's next week. So we can say it's next week on Sunday. And to say that in Japanese, you say, Raishu no nichiyobi desu. Raishu no nichiyobi desu. Hai. Sanba. Number three. Ana to yuki no jou wa itsu desu ka? Ana to yuki no jou is frozen. This is the Japanese title. Ana to yuki no jou. So that is on the 19th, the day after today, which in Japanese is ashita, tomorrow, right? Ashita desu. Ashita desu. Yoba, number four. Haoru no ugoku shiro wa itsu desu ka? Haoru no ugoku shiro is Howl's Moving Castle, another Studio Ghibli film, Hayao Miyazaki film. So it's right here, the 15th on, the, on Sunday of this week. And be careful. Um, it was on Sunday. Uh, so you have to use the past tense. In this case, it would be Konshu no nichiyobi deshita. Konshu no nichiyobi, uh, nichiyobi deshita. Okay. Number five. Tonari no Totoro wa itsu desu ka? Tonari no Totoro. Uh, this is Totoro. In English, Totoro. Or my neighbor, uh, Totoro. So, if you look at the calendar, it's right here on the 9th, which is last week on Monday in Japanese. Senshu no getsuyobi deshita. Senshu no getsuyobi deshita. Number six. Spider-Man wa itsu desu ka? Spider-Man wa itsu desu ka? This is obviously Spider-Man. It's on the 17th. So, we would say yesterday in English, but in Japanese, you would say kino, kino deshita. Kino deshita. Number seven, Avengers wa itsu desu ka? Avengers is Avengers, the Avengers movie. Um, and that is the 27th, that is next week on Friday. So we would say, Raishu no kinyobi desu. Raishu no kinyobi desu. Okay. And number eight, Cinderella wa itsu desu ka? Cinderella is Cinderella. The Disney movie Cinderella. When is Cinderella? Well, uh, if you look at the calendar, it's right here on the 21st. That would be Saturday of this week. So you can say, Konshu no doyobi desu. Konshu no doyobi desu. Number nine, eh, Titanic. Titanic wa itsu desu ka? Titanic, right? Uh, that would be the 16th. You can say for this one, you can say, Konshu no eh, getsuyobi deshita. Or because it's two days before kyo, before today. You can say, ototoi deshita. Ototoi deshita. It was the day before yesterday. Okay? Number 10. Mighty Thor. Mighty Thor. Mighty Thor in Japanese is literally how they translated it. This is in English just Thor. <laughs> the movie Thor. Mighty Thor wa itsu desu ka? Uh, this is actually in the past. So the 11th, it was on the 11th last week on Wednesday. So you can say, 先週の水曜日 deshita. 先週の水曜日 deshita. And finally, number 11, Pinocchio wa itsu desu ka? Pinocchio is Pinocchio. And that is on the 20th, uh, the day after tomorrow. So you can say, asatte desu, asatte desu, day after tomorrow. And here are the answers. You can, for asatte, ashita, kino, and ototoi, you can technically say konshu no and then the date or the day of the week that they are. Um, but for the answers, I just put what the Japanese word is, whether it's ashita, kino, asatte, or ototoi. Okay, but you're perfectly all right with, you know, konshu no nani nani yobi, whatever day of the week. Okay, let's get into my, using my. You can say every week or every day or every whatever using my. So you have my here, and then shu, nichi, asa, bang, which gives you every week, every day, every morning, every evening. 
Now, in the past, well, you know asa. Um, maybe you don't know bang. I don't know if I taught bang before. I sh really should make a list of the vocabulary I taught you in the past. But bang uh, is evening, the word for evening. Like, konbanwa, konbanwa, good evening. That's bang. Now, you did learn yoru. And I guess you can say mayo, uh, mayo would be every night, but I don't think it's as common as my ban. My ban means every evening, every night, basically. My shu every week, my nichi every day, my asa every morning, my ban every evening. These words will become important um, in later lessons when you're giving uh, your schedule or your daily routine, right? Every morning I brush my teeth, get up at 4 a.m., whatever, you know, stuff like that. Examples. Every weekend I have work. My shu no shimatsu wa shigoto desu. My shu no shimatsu wa shigoto desu. And then my classes are every day. Watashi no jugyo wa mai nichi desu. Watashi no jugyo wa mai nichi desu. Every day. That's, that's hard. Tough, tough break, buddy. Activity three answer each question based on Casey and Yasuo's weekly schedules. Number one. Oh, go ahead, pause the video if you want to try it on your own. I'm going to solve it right now. Number one, Keishi no jugyo wa mainichi desu ka? So this is asking, is Casey's, are Casey's classes every day? Well, looking at the calendar, we can see that no. It looks like her classes are only on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So we would say, Ie, eh, Keishi no jugyo wa mainichi ja arimasen dewa arimasen. Number two, Keishi no shigoto wa mainichi desu ka? Eh, yes, it looks like every single day she has work, which sucks for her, but uh, the answer for this would be hai, mainichi desu. Hai, mainichi desu. Sanba. Number three, Yasuo no jugyo wa mainichi desu ka? Jugyo wa mainichi desu ka? Uh, looking at his schedule, yes, it looks like the poor fella has class every day. So, hai, mainichi desu. Number four, Yasuo no eh, shigoto wa mainichi desu ka? Is, does he have work every day? Well, no. Looks like it's only getsu, ka, moku, and kinyobi. Uh, so we would say, ie, eh, mainichi ja arimasen. You could also clarify and add a sentence after that, like, getsu, ka, moku, kinyobi desu, and clarify like that. Here are the answers. I didn't use any clarifications, just simple. Uh, hai or ie answers. Now for listening practice, we're uh, wrapping up the lesson here. I'm going to read two compositions twice. Listen and write down what you hear either on a piece of paper or in your head. Okay, number one, here we go. Kyo wa getsuyobi desu. Ashita wa kaiyobi desu. Kyo wa getsuyobi desu. Ashita wa kaiyobi desu. If you need more time, go ahead and pause the video. I'm going to show the answer right now. Okay. Number two. Pause the video if you need more time. The answer is right here. Usually I have the second one be a little harder uh, than the first one or a little longer than the first one. This time, that was not the case. Translation practice. Translate the following statements into either English or Japanese. Go ahead, pause the video, try it on your own. I'm going to answer it right now. First lady says, uh, And in English, that could be there's work this week, Saturday. There's really a number of ways you could translate this. You could also say, there's work uh, on Saturday of this week. Um, or you could say, this week, Saturday is work. As long as you connect this week and Saturday and work, you're fine. Bottom guy says, I have class every morning. In Japanese, you could say, Mayasa wa jugyo desu. Mm, we could also say jugyo wa mayasa desu. But I think mayasa wa mayasa wa jugyo desu. Ma, that's fine, I think. 
Mm. Going back to our key sentence now, you should understand everything in this uh, composition. Juyo wa itsu desu ka? Mokuyoubi desu. Mokuyoubi desu. When is class? It's Thursday. Now, for your homework, go home, find a calendar, and Japaneseify it or whatever.、Uh, just indicate what kyo is. And then find the days that correspond to Kino or Ashita or Ototoi or Asatte. Okay? Identify also maybe Konshu, Senshu, Raishu. And say these terms, use these terms every day looking at your calendar. Okay?、Uh, you could also state Kyo wa and then whatever day of the week it is. For me, right now, I, I'm making this video on a Tuesday. So I could look at my calendar and say Kyo wa Kayobi desu. Ashita wa Suyobi desu. 昨日は月曜日でした。えーえー、あさっては木曜日です。<笑>おとといは、えー、日曜日でした。Something like that. Do that at home every day. You'll get super good at these、uh, when and these days of the week words. And as always, there's a worksheet for this lesson. Please go fill that out.、Uh, you'll, it'll really help you practice these words and everything you've just learned. That's about it、uh, for this lesson, guys. There are two really good videos that I found on YouTube. They're right here.、Uh, no uta, no、uta. So, Miu sings the one week song. And then there's Learn Japanese Days of the Week, Days of the Week song, no uta, by Fun Nihongo. Fun Nihongo じゃなくて Fun Nihongo. So, These are interesting little kids' songs. They are made for children, I believe, that kind of repeat the order of the days of the week in Japanese. And I think it's, it would be really helpful for you guys.、Um, at this point, it's beginning Japanese, right? Your Japanese is about at this baby level. So these videos, I think, are perfect for you. They're not too long, about a minute or so. Check them out. Otherwise, that's it. Thanks for watching.、Uh, I'll see you guys in a future lesson.